Okay, folks, I am in a new Dollar Tree that just opened today. It's the first day, and I'm excited. So here at Money Me, I always want to make videos about money, whether it's investing, saving money, all things money. I thought, you know, years ago, I used to think about Dollar Tree was all junk until I became a full-time reseller and then realized there are great values at the Dollar Tree. Not everything is a great value, but I'm going to point out, I'm going to find two things in every aisle and point out, and I'm going to do a comparison. And um, in the top one corner, I'll list the price, what they sell for, and we'll see if it's a good deal or not. And uh, you guys tell me what you think and comment below. And um, I'm excited. It's only about a mile away from my house. So... I am in the school supplies or the office stationary supply. Actually, says stationary right now. So, uh, clip, clip, clicks, ten ballpoint pens. Uh, now we know that's a non-brand name, but a dollar twenty-five for ten ball pens. Look, but they do sell Bic pencils. So at a dollar twenty-five, if I had to say, they were probably other places three or four dollars. So I know probably can't compare because of the brand and i will try to find things that we can do brand comparisons but for a dollar 25 i think that's a great deal for pens i mean how many times do you lose a pen anyways so all right so let's walk the aisle um expo dry erase markers and that's the thing with some things is you don't necessarily need the name brand item like they have crayola crayons Ah, that's a dollar twenty-five. If if you go in, at Walmart, a lot of times at school time, a lot of times you get these for seventy-five cents. So that's probably about now. Maybe that's the twelve-pack crayons, but that's that's not bad. Elmer's glue, dollar twenty-five. And things that what I'm going to do is when I go home to edit this, I'm going to do some research and I'm going to point out the difference in prices uh, if you had to buy this stuff somewhere else. I love how. Um, tape measure that is a good price dollar 25 i use this in the reselling business that i do and um because we have to ship out products i sell online so at a dollar 25 that's a great deal uh, to me that probably is a it, it usually a five dollar item so that the tape measure is a is a good um we can always use a tape measure at dollar 25 these are nice. These are nice novelty for gifts. Uh, you don't maybe you don't find these anywhere else, but Spider-Man night lights. Um, so Disney um, themed Paw Patrol. Those are nice for a dollar twenty-five. Even these 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 little LED lights. Not everything you're gonna find at another store, but those are things. Uh, precision screwdriver set, tool bench hardware that's that's a brand that they have here so i always think the super glue is a good deal super glue gel for dollar 25 two tubes four pack of mask a dollar 25 permanent markers scotch tape is a na name brand they have cat cat treats cat toys cleaning supplies so that's just the first aisle all right let's go down oh they always got a great deal on books for a dollar 25 now these are marked 597 so i'm not sure oh no they're a dollar 25 so these books are Look, $10 books for $1.25. That's a great deal. Bibles for $1.25. Um, so books for $1.25 that are clearly marked 6 to $10 is a great deal. $1.25 for paperback. Where can you beat that? Nice coloring books. So... I've gotten frames before from Dollar Tree and I've been disappointed because they're cheap. 
So even though they're a dollar twenty-five, they're cheaply made. A lot of times they're cardboard or that press board. So um, you know, they have, look. They have nice crafters stickers for a dollar twenty-five. Hey. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Good. Yeah. It's nice to have this in town now. Oh yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Did you guys get cleaned up over there? Yeah, he's pretty much done. Yeah. 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 Is he gonna rebuild or? Oh, he is, but yeah. There's a couple holdups. So. Yeah, there always is when it comes to insurance. Yeah. So we'll hopefully so. Yep. Lots of luck. All right. Thank you. Yep. You gonna do your yard sales this? Oh yeah, I was there um, Memorial Day weekend. I oh was okay. There Probably the day after. Well, I'll have to stop over sometime. Yeah. All right. You too. Nice seeing you. All some bleach. Dollar twenty-five. Okay. So down here. Now this is what they're doing in a lot of the Dollar Trees. They're starting to do five-dollar items, three to five-dollar items. Which I don't blame them because it's tough to make money at a dollar twenty-five. Five bucks though for extra OxyClean. That's a good to me. That's probably a good good deal at five bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if that's eight to ten dollars other places. So again, I'm going to do some comparison, and that's a name brand. Snuggle Tide. You got some nice plastic. This so uh, everything in this aisle seems to be the three to five dollar aisle. And now these candles are not, so these are a dollar twenty-five. Party supplies, wrapping paper for a dollar. We're getting dollar twenty-five. That's great. It's a great deal. Puzzles, dollar twenty-five. Boy, I tell you, when COVID was, you saw people buying them for a dollar twenty-five and flipping them for ten bucks. Even locally on Facebook, I saw that. Oh, look at this poker poker set for a buck twenty-five. Cheap, cheap plastic. Yeah, you can even play checkers for a dollar twenty-five. I sell on whatnot. Maybe I'll get a couple of these just to give out uh, for uh, gifts. So. Oh, look at that, Etch-A-Sketch. And it's Etch-A-Sketch Doodle. Now, is that the name brand? That's Etch-A-Sketch. Light up spinner. Wait, this is cool. So Disney, uh, Pixar, Forky, Mattel. So nice to see a store. Brand new and filled with stuff. Oh wow! Look at this hot hot dog car. So Hot Wheels. A lot of times there's uh, chase. Uh, so people chase for certain Hot Wheels, and um, they know the difference. The people that are collecting them. So this this is this is what it looks like when it's filled. Dollar twenty five. If you can find the right ones, sometimes that one or two that are in the box. Or some money. Dodge Hot Wheels. That's a nice looking car. Dodge Charger. Compact Kings. Yeah, so nice. Nice. Nice Hot Wheels. Wow. One of the things I like about... Um, people don't seem to give cards as much. But I tell you, because cards got to be 6 to $8... But I like the choice of dollar cards. So there are a lot of dollar cards. Okay, we had to stop there because the kid was screaming and crying because the mom didn't go down the right aisle. Look at this doll. Dollar twenty-five, heavy duty plastic. They're not heavy duty. You could tell how thin they are, but for disposal and using one time, uh, this is great. So if you're gonna have any type of party, this is like time for this stuff. They got flip-flops over there. Look at all the beautiful autumn flowers. Oh, cards over here, two for a dollar. This is nice. Sometimes people don't even keep the cards, they just throw them away. So, you know what? Still nice to have the thought they give a card, but two for a buck. That's a good deal. 
birthday bags, uh, decorations, candles. All right, this is one of my favorite aisles. Um, I always think I can find good, good stuff for a buck twenty-five. If you use the broom a couple times, um, that is a good deal for cleaning and stuff like that. Because a lot of times, too, if you do a rough cleaning, you only want to use it one or two times. And if you throw it away, who cares? You get another, um, get another one. But um, I like. I always had the tendency that we'll come here and we'll buy some of these scrub buddies these are heavy duty larger size for a buck 25 you're getting two magic eraser mr clean mr clean dollar 25 it's only you only get one but uh, oh even these put up on the wall two screws for your uh your brooms reusable wipes these are good you get four pack for a dollar 25 So this is the aisle that we come in a lot. And, and, and what I like is even if we only get one or two uses out of some things, I'm fine with that. Um, socks. Now, I'm always skeptical of socks is how thin they are. Now, these socks, now, these are two pairs for $1.25. And they're thick. They're not, they're not, they're not thin. So I, I think that's a great value. Back scratcher. They always come in handy. <laughs> Now this, some of these things I will not buy. I don't buy anything that's not name brand because I'm always skeptical of really the, the harsh chemicals or how much bleach they have and stuff or, or if it's watered down. Dial, we know that Dial is a name brand. Buck 25, that's probably the average. So I'm never a big fan of dial soap there that's not bad pear soap i've had that before dove oh dove's men in care extra fresh buck 25 for a 2.6 um bar not bad dove sensitive skin irish spring coast even these things over here a lot of times i was talking to a lady today that i know she will buy these things for her daughter because her daughter loses the stuff a lot of times so for a buck 25 you're getting 15 hair bands bobby pins 90 bobby pins for a buck 25 can't beat that that is a good deal mirror mirror for a buck 25 pack of combs great deal for a dollar 25 Little packs of wipes. Now, I buy these usually at Sam's Club in bulk. So, I think we get a box of 100. I have to double check what the price is. But even these things, handy three-in-one brush. Typically, I think at the Dollar General, this is probably a 3 or $4 item. But it's only $1.25. So, that's a good, that's a good deal. clippers okay so over here and again this video is a little bit long just because we're, it's a new and we're trying to show you exactly what a new Colgate dollar 25 now these are the smaller boxes these are 1.9 ounce so but toothpaste um, if you're on a budget you go to Rite Aid or CVS you can pay um, seven to ten dollars for a four ounce so when you kind of do the math, if you buy two or three of these at 250 to 375, you're still saving money. So if you buy you buy three of these at three dollars and seventy-five cents, plus tax, of course, you're paying twice as much. So that that's actually a good deal. That's the way sometimes you gotta look at it. Uh, people that are on a budget maybe can't afford to buy uh, seven, eight dollars, but they'll come and get one and um, they have money for other things. I buy these. These are nice for a buck twenty-five, and these are all floss cleaners, a dollar twenty-five. They got the cute uh, kids' toothbrushes. Effort it, fixing it. Those are named. 
Now these are no name vitamins, basically I call. I would not buy these. These are something I would not buy. I don't, all right, it's probably all made in China. And let me see. Distributed for a place in Florida, but most likely made in China. And I do not, Halls, that's a name brand, Blistex, Tylenol. Drug test for $1.25. Pregnancy test for $1.25. Uh, <laughs> and they're right they're right uh, next to one another. Uh, the, the drug test is 99% accurate. And the pregnancy test is 99% accurate. Washcloths. Nice kids. They got a lot to offer. A lot of SKUs. Nice. Um, look at this. This is cute. You can make up. What, you know what I like about this? Is if you're going to a baby shower, this is the perfect place to, to really make up a nice little basket. Nice stuff too. Stuff that's not, you know, um, baby oil. Um, you can get a lot of mixture of stuff. You can come here and think about it. Get 25, 20 things for a basket for 25 bucks. That's a good deal. Here they got Ajax. Uh, $1.25. That's a good deal. $1.25. They're getting more and more into food also. Um, if you can see here, now this is the frozen food. So they have a cooler here with some uh, snacks in it. And they're going to offer frozen foods. But a buck 25, how can you go wrong? Buck 24, wow, that's a good, that's even cheaper than I thought. So pizza for one. For a buck twenty-five, I mean, you go to a pizza place, you're paying like two fifty-three dollars for a slice of pizza. So, and that is a name brand. So that that's a good price. Twix Mega Bowls, three dollars for those. Steakum Steakum Cheese. Now, how? What's the size of that? Six steaks. Six steaks for three bucks. Red Baron's Pizza, four bucks. Tony's, four bucks. Toilet, a four pack of toilet tissue for a dollar twenty-five. Hundred and sixteen sheets per roll. So uh, that's not necessarily great because a lot of times you can get thousand. Oh, right here it is. A thousand sheet rolls for a dollar twenty-five. So this is supposed to have more than all that combined. Of course, it's how comfortable you are. Those are usually pretty soft, though. These are nice, even if you only use them a couple times, because uh, McCormick is a name brand. Garbage bags. Napkins. Glad bags. Nice foil dishes. These are great um, if you're having catering or Thanksgiving time, and you only need to use it one time. Sometimes you don't have a big... Or you can use it as a liner in your pan at home, pull that out, throw it in the garbage, and uh, for buck twenty-five, you save yourself a lot of aggravation and probably three dollars worth of Dawn soap. So, heavy-duty tablecloths, round sixty-inch for a buck twenty-five. Nice towels, gloves. This is one of the things that we like to buy here too, is some of these type things. I always think, where are they at? The scissors here, the kitchen, uh, right here. These are the ones that we like to buy. For a buck 25, McCormick, a dollar 25 uh, scissors. And they're heavy duty, dollar 25. These are nice. Uh, one year when my son bought a house, my older son, we bought, we made a bump of basket with a, a bunch of this stuff for his kitchen. Uh, measuring cups for a dollar 25. So a lot of great um, accessories to, uh, for kitchen and makes great gifts um, for new homeowners. Or sometimes, hey, you know, you come out, why why pay eight to ten dollars sometimes for a pair of tongs for buck twenty-five? Sometimes you wonder how the heck can they make this stuff so cheap? So a lot, a lot of good stuff.
Okay, we're winding down until the, like basically the last two aisles, which are basically food aisles and um, frosting 10 ounce of Pillsbury. That's a name brand. Dollar twenty five Jet Puff Betty Cracker cook um, cookie and brownie mix corn oh that's a seventy five cents oh do they sell that for seventy five cents or is it a dollar twenty five chocolate fudge Pillsbury Crunch Berry so these are only really single serve at dollar twenty five that that wouldn't be a good buy because a lot of times if you go to the store. Um, cereal now is 4 or $5 a box, but if you have a coupon or can time the sales rate, a lot of times you can buy boxes, maybe two for six. So, green tea, $1.25 for a whole box. Distribute. Packed in Sri Lanka. More plastic containers. Bullseye Craft, dollar twenty-five. That's a good price. Now, a lot of times, you know, they are smaller than what's in the traditional store, but at a dollar twenty-five for these, that is a good price because typically sauces are three to five dollars. So that is a good price. And sometimes you don't need uh, those super huge ones because you just waste them. A one five ounce, a dollar twenty-five. To me, that's a good price. bread now this is it says gold metal bread which is baked by a local bakery it's a smaller loaf but at a dollar 25 that's that's a good deal really because nowadays bread is five dollars a loaf so that bread is about 60 70 percent the size of that now if you notice we don't see heinz we see hunts 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 ketchup i, I like hunts ketchup I try to avoid things with sugar anymore, but, um, yeah. Water, $1.25 for a six-pack. Let's go down. All right, so this is the last food aisle. Kraft macaroni and cheese, $1.25. Campbell's, Campbell's. Canned soup, dollar twenty-five. That's that's a good deal because mostly soup is around two fifty. Spaghettios, name brand snacks, over here. Moon pies, and they even have a scanner here, self-scan. Little fruit boxes. Drinks. I always think actually the reading glasses is a good deal. I said now reading glasses it just says it's a dollar fifty, but a lot of times reading glasses are eight to ten dollars anywhere else. So that is a tremendous deal on uh, reading glasses. Right before we go, we're going to check out the seasonal area. They have all. This is the area that always changes. Big. Big plastic jug for $1.25. That's a good deal. And um, all these seasonal items that they offer. So this area over here usually always changes. Well, here you go. Um, July 4th is coming up. And um, all this stuff for $1.25. It's a good deal. Especially some of this stuff that you're only going to use one time. Okay, so we're just leaving the Dollar Tree, and um, boy, the place is packed. It's funny because the, the Dollar General that's down the street, only about a half a mile away, is a little rough. They only had one car when I drove by. This this one is packed with uh, all kinds of cars. And uh, a couple people probably wondering, what the hell is the guy talking to soup cans with a, his uh, camera out, but not realizing what I do. And, um, but trying to show you guys, one thing I just found out, and I heard them talking about it, and that's where Dollar Tree needs to do a better job is their pay. They're only paying $10.50 an hour to start. 
And if you want to keep good health, if you want to keep the store looking like that, Dollar Tree Corporate, if you're watching this, you need to do a better job paying your employees to start. And um, I said to the one, they don't offer overtime and stuff. And there's a lot of places across the street, um, competition that's paying $2 more an hour. So if they want to keep the store looking this great, they better get uh, up with their, um, their pay. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up. And tell me, do you go to Dollar Tree? Is there something special that you find there? And uh, subscribe to Money Me. I greatly appreciate it. It's for free. It doesn't cost you a dollar twenty-five. And uh, show your support and uh, click thumbs up. All right. See you again.